All right, so before we begin officially, I just want to do a quick poll. How many people here have done some sort of post, blog, tutorial, etc.? cetera? Um, some sort of technical blog post, just show of hands. OK. And how many people, um, same question, but for Rails, something for Rails? Oh, wow. All right. Question, you go again. Oh, qu question was, how many people wrote some blog post or tutorial or how-to on something technical? That was the first question. Some kind of technical Raise your post. Hand if you've ever written a thing on the internet <laughs> about technical topics. Yes. And then the <laughs> second one was specifically for Rails. Keep your hand up if it was Keep for your Rails. Hand. And OK, great. So uh, my title of my talk is Blog for Idiots. Um, please. So this is kind of a request and a little bit about me and where I'm coming from. Um, so I'm kind of a newbie. A uh, year ago, I didn't really know how to do any kind of programming. I have a math background. I was a high school math teacher. And so I have some experience learning things and how to teach things. And so this is a short presentation, a couple ideas on how to make your post a little bit more accessible, a little bit easier for someone who has no experience or very little experience to be able to understand what you're saying. OK. So first section, provide some context to the code. And the first thing would be adding your version of Rails and your version of Ruby. And most of these tips came from running into a post and not getting this information. So I would think a lot of people do this, but some people don't. And it just provides some context. One thing is if you don't have a date for your post, then if you provide the version of Rails, then I know a little bit more when this is coming from. And it might help me figure out if your solution might be out of date or out of or not no longer applicable. Um, so the next bit of context in your post would be if you're giving me some code, tell me what file that code is going to go into. So it might go into the controller, it might go into the model, uh, but just let me know what file you put that into. And again, some people did this, some people did not. One thing I wanted to say about this is that there might be some choice about what file it goes into. So maybe this is something you could add to the model, or maybe it's something you could add as a helper method. And so if there's a choice there, then you can talk about what your choice would be, what you think is the best practice. And that's, that's you know, uh, important for me as a newbie to learn. OK, and the other little snippet is in your code, add line numbers. So this makes it a little bit easier for you to talk about the code you have. So if you want to talk about a particular method, you can just say this method on line 20, rather than trying to describe the method. It makes it a lot easier for me to see it. And this also adds some benefits when you're refactoring. If you refactor code, then you can see a little bit better what happened if you know what line numbers that code was on. If there's no line numbers, then your code just kind of gets condensed, and it's hard to see what changed. OK, um, so the other thing I just wanted to talk about is when you run into something that you think is obvious, uh, so you should ask yourself, why is it obvious? The main point here is that as a poster, as a writer, you're some sort of expert on what you're writing about. And if it's obvious to you, then that's because you studied it, you're familiar with it, and there's some things you know, there's some processes, mental processes that you're making that make it obvious. And that mental process is what you should be sharing. That's what you want to tell me about. And so you can say, this code should go in this file. And that's obvious because that's a best practice that people do. So it's obvious because you're smart. So tell me, why is it obvious to you? And then, then I might be a little bit smarter. OK, so those are my few tips, very short. And I just wanted to add one more thing. There was a great talk last week at the Open Source Bridge Conference. And it was a talk about tech blogging by Jesse Juryu Davis. He's a Python developer from New York, but it doesn't matter. Um, he makes a really good case for how and why you should write a tech blog. 
So there's a link that you can go check it out. And he's got, he's got a written form of his talk, but at some point the video will be uploaded, so then you can watch it, watch the video. Any questions, comments, or concerns to share? All right. Uh, yes. Thank you. All right.